This is Mrs. Andrews' class. They're second graders in Byron, Minnesota. And they're going to demonstrate, well, Caden here is going to demonstrate the lion tamer ball skill technique, right? So the first thing all our students do when we're in this unit, they have their own little whip, which is really a rhythm ribbon. So you can pick that up. Now, we told a story about how a circus came to town, and a little boy who happened to be me got to meet the lion tamer, and, and the lion tamer showed him all the technique. And the first technique was he always got skinny towards the lion. So he never faced with his stomach pointing at the lion. He always faced with his front hip pointing at the lion. And then he picked up a little chair. It was almost like a dial chair, and he pointed that right at the lion. Point your chair hand at the lion now, Caden. And then he had his feet about as wide as his shoulders, and he lifted up his back arm, so it's just about his back elbows even with his shoulder. And he takes a hard step at the lion and snaps his whip. And notice how his back leg kind of dragged through. That's a nice follow through. Do it again so he gets ready. He's got his opposite hip pointing at his lion. He can get his back hand up a little bit higher. And whip. All right, now once we get good at that, we roll him a ball. He puts his whip down, and he does the same thing with the ball. Now he uses all the same thought process, though. Now the ball is his whip, right? And he gets in his lion tamer position. His arm that's straight out is his chair, and he has to pull that back as he's throwing. And if he looks back at his ball... He can see the back of his hand. Now the other alternative, the ball might be forward. Turn it the wrong way once. That would be the wrong way. So he has to have his hand turned so he can see the back of his hand. Then he looks right at his lion and gets ready to throw. Notice how he put the weight on his back foot. One more time. And then they catch it. And they'll do that at my command, and then after a while, they'll just do it on their own. But they have to make sure they do safety first to make sure nobody is running in front of them. Well, class, let's give them a thumbs up or thumbs down if you did good. What do you, what do you think you did? They all think you did a thumbs up. Let's give them a hand, everybody. All right. Take a bow. Take a bow. There you go. All right. That is a lion tamer ball skill technique.